Hey friends, welcome to my Jeep TJ build. Uh, started with a Copart salvage Jeep. This is the 69th video in this series. Uh, check out the playlist Jeep build on my channel. You'll find all the videos related to this project. Um, this Today's video, or tonight's video, is going to be about changing the transmission mount. And uh, I'm going to get under here and do it. And I've got a little bit different way. It's kind of easy to do right now. Um, be sure to uh, let me know what you think in the comments, um, especially if this helped you. I mean, that's kind of the idea behind doing these videos. And also, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, if you hit the bell icon, you'll find out when I release more videos. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Let's get this transmission mount changed. All right, so, you know, it is a little dark under here. Uh, one of the things I need to do is suspend the transmission. I need to hold it up so I can get to it. So I'm actually going to do that from the back. Um, and as a matter of fact, I think I'm just going to go ahead and move back there with camera and do it from the back. And I'm going to add some light because it's fucking dark back here. Okay, so I've got a light above, which I had before. And now we're going to add a light behind. And that's going to make it a whole lot easier. Now, I'm using my DeWalt uh, lights for this. So, um, all right, and now we gotta find a place to route this that will have access to it. So I think we need to go, where the hell did it go? temptation is to just go to the body frame but that's really not a good idea um, so what I'm doing is anchoring to the uh, tub mounts because I might need to drop this plate in fact there's a good chance that I'm gonna need to drop the plate So, at this point, we're up. And, um, you can't see it, but the transmission mount's literally ripped in half. So, ain't doing no good down here anyway. Uh, let's get back towards the front of the engine where there are fewer leaves and spiders. And, uh, front of the Jeep. So, we'll switch back around. So, the first step is to get these nuts off. Uh, it is a 13. I'm not going to do it that way. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm going to use the tool to just help this along. Okay, so there are four bolts up here. They look like they're 16 or 17 millimeters. Let me uh, start testing sockets to figure out what they are. <laughs> All right, they are 15 millimeter, and we'll see what we can get done. <clears throat> Trying 
to do this without dropping the cross member. <clears throat> Although I'm going to need a breaker bar at this point because I don't have the strength. So let me get a breaker bar. I'll be right back. All right. Now let's see if this will play nicer with a breaker bar. Imagine that. Hey, what? These have some oomph to them. But once they're broken, it's just doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. In fact, it's not. So this really leads credence to uh, um, taking care of these without removing the cross member if it's possible. Again, there are other ways to do this. I'm just trying to see if this can be done without removing the cross member because I think it can. All right, so woo, that piece should came out. All right, let's take this upstairs where it's easier to do. But this will work. But not with that, because these are 15 millimeter bolts. That's irritating. Uh, not for long, because I'll bring all the all the things to the yard. 16, which suggests that that's probably 14. Yep. And this transmission mount is El Chato. I mean, like, it's sheared in half. So recycling it goes. Let me go get the other half of it. So it's not entirely possible to tell why it failed, but I can tell you that it did fail. Uh, was it even a Mopar part? No, no telling. Let's see what's got on here. Probably not. Mopar is not going to use a circle like that. So we're replacing it with an anchor part of similar quality. I don't believe there is a front or back to this, 
So there we go. I'm going to put some lock, thread lock on these because I trust nothing. So let me uh, look up the torque value and get a torque wrench and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's really hard to locate the specs on these things. Um, this is a transmission mount. That's a cushion. These are mount fasteners. These are mount nuts. These are skid plate mount nuts. Yes, it's as confusing as it seems. And uh, 26 to 35 seemed to be, like, this part was really straightforward. They're in here is 35. Uh, I couldn't find these, so we'll see. So that's good. Um, we'll need this for the nuts underneath, and then these, and then we'll need this too. So let me um, let me put this away, and we'll be under the Jeep in a minute. So I do want to take a second to show you where I'm hanging the transmission from. So I've got one bolt or one hook on this side, and I'll add some light and one hook on the other side in the same spot. And that's a nice secure spot to um, hang the transmission from. Now, I apologize if this is not the best shots of this, but this is just how it's gonna roll. here. All right, where'd that damn thing go? So, uh, this is definitely the way to do this. Now what I got to do is get thread locker on these fasteners and get them back up in here.
one more to get up in here. Let me get uh, the right size torque wrench and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in at 52 um, pounds of torque. Uh, they were in there pretty tight. And I'm gonna snug them first with the uh, half inch ratchet and then I'll go after them with a torque wrench. Now, this is easier having the front drive shaft out. put the cap back on the thread lock it'll last longer a little tough all right so we've got all these in place now we need to lower the transmission down so let's uh, slide back here and do that So, uh, you know, that wasn't that bad. Uh, I think this is actually pretty good. Only thing I'm missing is uh, one of my nuts for the transmission. All right, where'd it go? 
Oh, come on. How am I missing one? Bet I caught it up with that. All right, let's do these three. That's fucking stupid. find that missing nut. God. Darn it. There it is. Again, these are at low torque values, so I'm gonna thread lock them in place as a form of insurance. And then I'm going to use the impact gun just to speed my journey here. Come back and make sure they're at least 26 pounds because I think they can handle more personally or 36 or whatever it was. I don't have a ton of faith in this. In fact, I think these spacers need to come out and this needs to go up. Because I think this is actually lower than it needs to be. But that's not right now's project. So that's it for tonight. Um, that was my version of how to change the transmission mount. I think it was pretty successful. Um, people complain about this being really difficult, and I just didn't see it that way. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, in the description, I'll put the mount that I used. Um, and uh, thanks for watching.